Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset both your admin password for your Ugreen NAS, and also if for some reason you forget the network settings or the passwords or whatever, you just basically can't get into the system. There is a very easy and straightforward way of recovering your system. Now, this has to be done locally. You can't do this from a remote location. You do need physical access to your NAS. This particular unit is the DX. 4800 plus uh, which was sent over to us for review by Ugreen so thank you very much Ugreen and already I've actually made a mistake I've messed up the network settings so at the moment I can't get into the unit so what you're going to need to do is do the following things is find a sharp object such as a sim eject tool uh, this is absolutely perfect or paperclip that sort of thing and what you'll need to do is to locate the reset button on the back of your Ugreen NAS which we'll show you next so on this particular model, we'll see at the back, so you've got your power input, and there is the reset hole just there. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to press in the reset button with your tool for around about five to eight seconds until you hear the first bleep from the unit. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we'll press it in now. And there are the bleeps. And the system's now gonna go through and do a kind of a reset of the network and also initiate the emergency admin user profile. On the front of your NAS device, you'll notice that it's going through the boot up procedure. So you'll see the LED travel across the front there to reinitialize the disks. What we're waiting for is the end LED, which is just here, which is for your LAN. So as soon as there's network connectivity, you should see a white LED there, which will then potentially start flashing as well. So just be patient and wait for that light to come on. And there we go. So our LAN LED has now illuminated and is now beginning to flash. So now we can head over to the PC and try to log into our NAS. Okay, so we're going to go onto our desktop PC and we'll open up a web browser and just type in the top there, find then dot ugnas.com so it should look something like this and then press enter then what it's going to do is going to try and find your NAS on the network which it should be able to now now that the network is set to DHCP or DCHP whichever it is so it's going to pick up a new IP address when you're happy click on connect it'll say that the connection is not private that's fine click on advanced and proceed and now you'll get the option to log in so if for some reason you don't know your login or you're trying to reset your login now, you can just type in admin and leave the password blank and click on login. And at this point now, it knows that you want to reset your admin password. So what you can do is choose your administrator account. So it should be available in a drop down box. And then you can just re enter. So I'm just going to type in password just for argument's sake here. Click on confirm and there you go. So now you have changed your admin account to a new password. Obviously do try to make a strong password. I've just done this as an example, but I would strongly suggest that you set a uh, pretty strong password. So there you go. There is how to log in to your Ugreen NAS should you forget the local administrator password or for some reason your network changes, either IP addresses or the DCHP or your allocated IP address gets overwritten or gets used by some other device. This is a really handy way of doing it. And actually, because this particular unit has a 2.5 gigabit and also 10 gigabit NAS ports on the back, if you plug in the cable into one and you've got a network address set specifically for that port and you accidentally plug it into the wrong port, then of course it's going to try and use a different IP address. So effectively it won't appear on the network. Anyway, I'm jabbering on now. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also that chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.